Hello, guys, and welcome again to our Thursday testimonial time.、Uh, today we have a very special person that's near and very dear to my heart, my wife Vicky Milad.、Um, we have her today because she's got an incredible testimony of what the patches have done for、um, a procedure that she had done. I won't take too much of her time because it's her time, but I just want to thank you guys.、Um, At the end of it, we'll stop the presentation, and you guys have,、uh, if you have questions,、uh, we'll go ahead and answer them. So go ahead, Vicky, take it away.、Um, thank you all for joining us. And、um, it is with great pleasure that I can share this wonderful testimony with everyone.、Um, forgive me, I'm trying to speak correctly still, and I'm still learning to eat the right foods、um, to try to get full. But、um, yes,、yeah, so. I had、uh, major dental surgery.、Um, it's been about a month now. And I had my wonderful husband by my side to、um, be there with me and to help me and assist me along the way.、Um, okay. So、um, I went in to have my teeth extracted, all of them to be removed, and、um, the top and bottom implants. And while they were in there, they had to also fix my sinuses.、Uh, I have no idea how that worked.、Uh, I had people asking me questions. I don't know. All I know is I woke up and I could actually breathe better. So I'm thankful for that as well. <laughs> so this is day one. And、um, I, I'm trying to smile, but I don't know if you can see it a little on my face. But、um, after the procedure, when I woke up,、um, I just started laughing because of all the laughing gas, and I was still numb. But、um, when I got home shortly after that, the, the anesthesia, like the numbing medication, started to wear off. So I had a lot of pain starting to set in, and then the swelling, I could feel it was all just irritated and swollen.、Um, so I used、uh, Ice Wave. Actually, I put that on in the car. You can see it on my face there <laughs> in the picture. And、um, Eon for swelling. So that was my first day. And day two, it started to, I could see some of the bruises. It was still a little swollen, of course.、Um, but I have ice wave on my, my neck down here and、uh, my cheeks, kind of like where they did all the extracting and a lot of the stitches. Eon up here on my cheeks for the swelling and a carnosine right underneath my chin. Next one. So, yeah, I just kind of like figured I would take a picture of all the. And there's some of the bruising that hasn't come out yet. Next. Yes,、yeah, so、and this is day three. <sighs> so I had no idea that I had all these bruises on my neck until I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh, oh my goodness. I knew I was going to be sore here and swollen, but I didn't know that the bruises were going to come all the way down here. I mean, I even had some on my temples also from the sinuses. But、um, this was, I think, the worst day. And it actually felt worse, looked worse than it felt for me. So, this looks like it was so horrible, but、um, it was actually manageable with the pain patches. So, I'm so thankful for this technology because I don't know that I could have done it and endured through the pain without the patches. This is day eight. So, I had no more bruises, the swelling had gone down. And feeling better each day. And for me, it's,、um, I don't have any pain. There's little aches because I'm still getting used to it.、Um, eating sometimes is challenging and talking.、Um, but I'm very thankful because I started to feel the anesthesia wear off. And, you know, I don't know who has had a procedure done, but I'm sure that you know when that wears off, you just feel the pain getting ready to like come in like a flood. Well, Right then and there, I just took the, the ice wave and I was just put the Eon, like I just started putting patches around my face. And with that, I felt immediately, I was like, wow, you know, I shocked myself because I knew, I know the technology works. I use it every day. But to actually go through something like this, and I was thinking it was going to be worse off. But when I put the patches on, it was so manageable. I was like, okay, now I'm ready to take a nap. So, I'm just thankful that I had this、um, technology to be able to wear. Next one. And this is,、um, of course, I just put all the days together so we could share it with other groups and other people. 
And on the 14th day, I was in New Jersey with wonderful people and I got to be a part of the the um, patch presentation to share the products that we share. So with my husband, um, that was a blessing. We got to meet so many different people there and it was such a blessing to be able to share my story and my journey with others and to be able to minister to other people, other women mainly, um, that have gone through something similar or, you know, if they're not, go- they weren't going through it. Some of them had come to me afterwards and shared some um, testimonies with me and I just could not believe, but you never know where God's going to use you. And I just wanted to say that I'm thankful because each and everything that we go through is for a greater purpose. And I know that through all of my challenges and my struggles, I've had over 17 female surgeries. Um, They diagnosed me with two different autoimmune diseases, which they said was no cure for. So when I started to use this technology and how it changed the pain that I had to endure every day of my life, when I started to feel normal, I knew that by going through this dental procedure, eh, this is a breeze, I can do it. God's with me, you know. So no matter what it is that you're going through, I just want to encourage you all that um, we have the, the tools that we need to be able to overcome. It was um, the business presentation with my wonderful team in New Jersey and um, David and Linda. And if I'm missing anybody's names, you, you're all in New Jersey, according to me, because that's where we were. So, <laughs> but it was a blessed day. And these are the patches that I use daily. So, of course, the 3YH, the X39 for, of course, rapid wound healing. And that just amazed me in itself because the bruising went away. And usually if I would get a bruise, um, like if I bang my my leg or my shin, the dog Mm -hmm. jumps on my leg, I would get a bruise and it would last on my body for two to three weeks before it actually started to look like it was going to go away. Well, I was really shocked at the healing process for the bruising for this procedure because, you know, I I was like, wait a minute, where did the bruises go? So, you know, I was just amazed at how quickly it healed. And, um, you know, within a couple of days, you know, the bruising was gone, the swelling was gone. So I'm very thankful for this. And, um, you know, it's just definitely a blessing to be able to have it. And I just want to thank you all for allowing me to share this with you. This is my beautiful family, my boys, and my wonderful husband. We were bowling, so I just wanted to share our whole family with you because I don't know if anybody has really seen our whole family picture together. So I just wanted to say thank you, and um, I'm thankful that you're here. I'm blessed to be able to share this story with you, and if there's any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Honey, I got a question. I want to go back to um, this day. Could you tell us, um, starting from the first picture on the right side, because people are going to ask what patches that you use. Uh, Could you tell us the first picture on the the left side? I'm sorry. What what you were wearing there, the tan patches and the white patch? Okay. So I had, if like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bruise like on my temple area up here by my temple. Yeah. So I started to get like a headache set in and I don't know what happened if I did the, this picture after that or whatever, but I put another set of ice wave on my temples. So I put them there eons on my cheeks here and then ice wave on yeah there and then on my neck and then underneath here, I had carnosine. Okay. And how about on your, on the left side here? That's the other side of the ice wave. Oh, okay. That's the ice wave. Yeah, I, I can. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because the the tan would be on the left side, so maybe that's an eon, or maybe the picture got flipped. I have no idea because the, the tan. Flipped. Yeah. Yeah. No. The, this is the yeah. This is the left, but the picture is backwards. So just keep yeah. that in mind. All the left um, ice waves are tan. So that that's what happens better. when you take selfies, actually. Yeah, when you take a selfie, it's backwards. You're right. I guess that's why I don't like taking selfies. So, so. all the, oh yeah, right. So these are all the white ones. So what do you have here? These are all um, the white ice waves? Well, I'm more than positive I put the ice wave on my temple. So I don't, maybe this picture on the far right side is after 
I took the first picture on the left. Okay. So you got ice wave, ice wave on the temples and on the cheeks mm -hmm. and then the carnosine underneath. And then the next day was when I added like glutathione and all. Okay. So what do you have here on the first picture on your left? This is when I put the carnosine, glutathione, eon, and on the bottom there is X39. Okay, so it's carnosine? No, eon on my cheeks. Eon, okay. Yeah, I put um, glutathione on, right there okay. on each side, and then the carnosine underneath. And the special one in the center? X39. Great. How about the one on your temple? That's an on eon. The, on your head? That's an eon. So you were doing the brain protocol at the same time, huh? Yeah, my brain needed to be. Now, I'm going to attest to this um, because I am her husband of 26 years. Going <laughs> <to 27. laughs> it's been a long time. You know what I always tell her that I felt like we've been married all our life. Um, time starts working backwards. It's kind of it's kind of weird. And I'll, I'll share a little bit more about that later. But I know my wife, whenever she has a bruise, and even if the dog bumps on her, she gets a bruise. She's very um, sensitive. Her skin is very sensitive. And the kids are the same way. Um, I cut myself and then in two minutes, I stopped bleeding. It's weird. But anyhow, um, when I saw her with, with her face like this, I was like, oh my gosh, how long? Like we were looking towards the New Jersey trip and we're like she can't go looking like this you know it's uh we're, we're praying hoping that this will go away and and unbelievable within not not even a week I even told the doctors because we went to see right when did we go back to your doctor for your checkup two weeks thir 13 days later right and I asked them I'm like is that normal they're like yeah it's normal yeah it's not a thing I'm like okay not for my wife. I don't think it was normal for her. But anyhow, I just want to attest to to say that um, th this technology is incredible. If you're gonna, if you're as brave as my wife is in pulling a hole or her teeth, um, this is a technology to have. Uh, we're going back to meeting with the doctors and showing them these pictures so that they can see what they can supply for their patients to be a part of the the whole procedure because it was, it was amazing. Um, you know, people go through surgeries and they, if they wish to have pain, that's their choice. Now think about that. And some yeah. of you guys might, it might catch you on the way home that we don't have to live with pain anymore because we got right. an incredible technology that help us. And, um, when we were at the, at, at Anna Parsha's house, um, I said, Vicky, come up here. Cause people have to hear your 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 wonderful testimony she's like no nah, you'll be all right go ahead and do it yourself <laughs> and I'm like the whole time the whole time we prepare that she would do it right and every time I don't let her talk Lorenzo gets on me she's like he's like brother Ed she's got to talk and I'm like I know but she doesn't want to talk I'm whispering like he's like no call her and I'm like okay I said hey hon she was down there at the bottom part and she's like okay I'll come and then she spoke for us and, um, and and everybody got a chance to see her presentation. So that was incredible. Um, I'm going to open the... Um... I just want to share that the reason why I really wasn't motivated to speak that day was because I'm still learning how to speak myself without getting frustrated. So just learning how to pronounce all my words properly and, um, you know, just... I felt like it was a little too much, but I'm glad that's why we're a team. So, you know, you did good, honey. I, did? I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad I was part of the show. <laughs> if you guys don't have any other questions, we'll go ahead and stop. The call. Go ahead. Go ahead, Martin. Um, did you do this all with just patches or did you take painkillers? Uh, I took ibuprofen. And the first night, um, I did take for sleep, but from there, I just took, um, they had muscle relaxer because I'm, I've always had like grinding my teeth problems. So they didn't want me to start grinding my teeth after having this. So 
So I just took the muscle relaxer. Um, but yeah, the with the pain patches, the ice wave, I didn't need the pain medicine. So okay. it, that's how manageable it was. I, I was actually shocked myself. So, I mean, I put the, at first when I started to feel that the numb, the numbing medicine wear off, I was like, oh no, this is going to like come in like, oh, and I was like, oh, what am I in for? And then immediately I just grabbed the patches and just start placing them. And honey, you were there. It was like within <clears throat> seconds, I was like, oh, I, I can do this. You know, I was just amazed. Now we took it. She's like, you better take them with you to the to to the clinic and i'm like absolutely i also want people to know hun that why you did this uh there was a yeah that was going to be my next question actually okay (laughs) i didn't know if that was too personal but yeah oh i don't mind sharing uh well i had um receding gums and they wanted to do gum grafting i had a crown that needed to be replaced which um i just kept seeing dollar signs thousands of dollars going into my mouth and i said well, um, how about, you know, they can fix your teeth and all, but then you you lose bone as you, as we age, of course, with the X39, we don't really need to age, of course, but I didn't want my bone to get any lower than it is in percentage. So I said, well, how about if we can just remove them all that way I don't have to worry about them. And, um, they just kept giving me like my options you know, saying, well, you don't have to do this, but here you can do this. But for me, I was just thinking, well, eventually I may just need to have this done. And then later on in life, I may not recover as I would, you know, now. So, and I didn't really want to go through like the gum grafting and um, having all that, that tooth repair work done and paying all that money and then having to go back years and years later to have it done again. Mm -hmm. So you know, when you have receding gums, it's it's kind of hard. So I didn't have like cavities or anything. It was just, I had spacing in between my teeth. Uh, I had braces when I was 21 years old. So it's a little later in life. And as my teeth shifted, um, my gums were already starting like settled when you're younger and you have braces, it's fine. Like your, your gums adjust, your teeth adjust. But had I done it when I was younger, I would have been better off. Um, but yeah, my, my gums just always kept receding every year. And, you know, just the thought of having those, um, gum grafts done, I was thinking, well, you know, this is going to be painful. I'm going to go through this and is it going to be worth it? Then I'd have to go back in because each year, you know, your gums recede. And yeah, I just thought it was like a waste of money actually. Well, I, it brings me back to the time that you got you for you four wisdom teeth came out come out like what fifteen years ago, before we had the technology. Oh uh, wait a minute, Daniel. Daniel was a year old. So oh, so twenty two. Twenty four years ago. ago. Twenty four. It's gonna be twenty five. See what I tell you? It's just life. Just it seems like it was yesterday, you know. Mm-hmm. But um, I do remember going to the dentist with you. Um, and that was amazing how you couldn't even walk. You, you were so drugged up and the pain was so horrible and we didn't have anything to manage it with. You know, we had to rely on the pain medication that the doctors gave gave us. And I threw up. That didn't even help. I threw up because I couldn't eat anything. It was horrible. It was the worst. Right. But so what do you think be, what you had before and what you have now? How do you compare it? You can't compare it. <laughs> I mean, for me, if if I didn't had this back then, I probably would not have had a lot of um, issues with pain medication myself. And, you know, I mean, the stuff makes you feel horrible. It, you know, it just, it, I hate the feeling. It's horrible. But um, had I had this technology back then, I would never have needed pain medication ever. That's incredible. So thank you, uh, Vicki. Um, be intentional, Milad. Thank you for your wonderful testimony. If there's no other call, uh, no other questions, we'll stop this recording and then we're going to see each other again next week. Um, but we'll stay uh, tuned, stay with us so that we can continue our training. God bless you guys till we meet again. <laughs>